My name is Jesse Sasser and this is The Widow's Web. When I first got my 3D printer, I knew what I wanted to do. I just didn't know exactly what direction I wanted to go in. And I was actually inspired whenever I first started searching the internet for 3D guitars and uh, stuff like that. I was actually inspired by a search result. came across this guitar called the Atom 3D printed guitar. From that point, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So I went to a local pawn shop and bought the cheapest electric guitar I could find that worked. Um, took everything apart and pulled the dimensions from the body for all the electronics. And uh, it was kind of a, it was a Fender style guitar, but I really liked the Les Paul look. So I made a few modifications to design uh, so the design would fit uh, what I was, the look I was going for. I created the base model using uh, 3D Studio Max and then I applied the Baroni in Mesh Lab. I split the design into six different pieces so each one would print on my Robo 3D R1. I also tried splitting and arranging the pieces so I could print them using uh, little or no support. The center pieces are printed using 100% infill for stability and the other pieces are printed about 50%. I used black hatchbox PLA and had absolutely no issues with the filament. Each piece took roughly 12 to 24 hours to print. I decided to release all the files so that others might enjoy and possibly expand on it. I'm excited to see what other people come up with. I just want to say thanks to everyone out there on Facebook and the other social media that encouraged me to continue this project. Also a special shout out to Braden Moreno, the founder of Robo3D. If it weren't for him and his team, uh, bringing the affordability and quality of a good 3D printer um, to the consumer, this project may have never even started. I'm trying to get it right.